How are you lovely people doing today? My name is John. Today what I want to do is something a little bit different. I want to make a response video to Dan Brown and the Pogo Bat channel. So Dan runs the channel Pogo Bat, of course, and what he basically does is run a bunch of community discussions on his channel. At the moment they're discussing YouTube Red and the ethics of Adblock. I've been following Dan, I've been following your channel for a very long time now, and I've been a Patreon subscriber, and I thought it's about time I jump into the conversation. This is something that's very near and dear to my heart. I'm quite passionate about YouTube, and I figure as a YouTuber, I can give a little bit of a different perspective. So I run the channel JohnnyJ25, about 120,000 subscribers, and over the past couple months, I have seen a lot of success, and I'm doing incredibly well for myself. I've been quite fortunate to be in this situation, and as a result, I've made a decent bit of money through my YouTube AdSense. That's the only stream of income that I have. I don't do anything else like sell t-shirts or run a Patreon. I just solely run off the AdSense. Now, what I'm doing with this money is holding on to it. However, I'm a senior in high school, and next year I will be entering university. This is how I plan to pay my way through university, with tuitions rising ever higher. This is basically my only way I'd be able to pay my way through college. So this money that I make through YouTube is very important to me. This is nothing new. Whether it be somebody supporting their family or somebody supporting themselves through YouTube, there are hundreds of cases. This is something that's been happening for years. I don't want to necessarily make the argument that adblock is bad and we should shame users into watching the ads. However. I think there's something you're missing. I believe there's a bit of a social contract behind YouTube. Creators like myself will make videos for our communities to enjoy, and all our communities have to do in return is just watch the ads. There's a bit of a contract. I will make these videos under the condition that you guys support me, and the way I request to be supported is through ads. Now, YouTubers can decide on their own how they want to be supported. Maybe. They'll be like CGP Grey and choose not to run ads, and instead all they ask is that they are supported through Patreon. I, though, just ask that I am supported through AdSense. All I ask is that people turn off Adblock and watch my videos. I put in maybe 15 to 20 hours of work on my videos every week. It's no small feat on top of just juggling school and a social life. There's a lot to it. and. Why am I going to put so much effort into these videos if I'm not going to get anything out of it? If everybody on the site is using Adblock and I am making absolutely nothing through YouTube, well, why am I going to continue to put so much effort? Not to say that I would completely discard YouTube, but I'm certainly not going to put 20 hours a week and maybe possibly not study for a test when I could be making a video. It just it doesn't make sense from a logical standpoint. Unless I'm getting something out of it, I'm not going to put so much work into it. That's why this contract exists. You will continue to receive these videos that you enjoy so much. You just do what I ask and watch the ads. Now, we are entering sort of the shaming territory. I could make the statement that, oh, I'm not going to be able to pay my way through college or I'm going to have a crap ton of debt because you aren't watching these ads, so please watch these ads so that I'm not several thousand dollars in debt. We are going to enter that sort of shaming territory, and I think we're going to be there regardless, no matter how you wish to be supported, whether it's Patreon or through YouTube or some other means, t-shirt sales, whatever. There's always going to be that shaming the user aspect, and I don't think... There really is a good way to get rid of it, but just so long as you follow the social contract, I think everything should be okay. Anyway, Dan, that's going to wrap things up for this response. I'm very curious what you have to say, and hopefully I'll be able to jump into more discussions in the future. I'm going to go, though. Have a fantastic day, and bye.